but I had a big argument with my brother, you know, uh, deep depression, you know. I, I haven't worked in 20 months, you know, 50 years old. Worked all I was raised a worker, you know, yeah. uh, being, you know, worked for the family, raised the whole family. Um, and, uh, oh, just get over it, get laid, you know, after my left wife left me. And, and uh, I just found out that I was sick. And, uh, uh, you know, like, but you wouldn't tell the runner, hey, no, just run a little bit further, you know, you get better as you run, you know. Yeah. And I, you know, if you broke your leg, you know. Just yeah. Keep running. Broke your leg, but just keep running, you know, you know, the more you run, the better it'll feel, you know. I'm like, that's depression, you know. You, you don't get it unless you get it, you know. Mm hmm. Yeah, I've had this uh, blood disease for since 19, I mean, uh, 2010. Since 2010. And you were, uh, like, unaware of it before that, or? No, it's it's kind of like a leukemia type, you know, Hodgkin's type lymphoma disease, but it's not considered cancer. But uh, when I was a kid, I had, there's a cute and chronic. Acute is something that you get as a kid usually, and it goes away. I had a nosebleed. We lived in a town in Alaska, and my nose literally bled for like two days. They were going to take me to the capital to have it cauterized, and it stopped. And when I got to the capital, and went to their hospital. You know, I lived in a town of 500. Um, when I went to the capital, and I was 17. They were like, no, you got to go all the way to Washington because nobody in the state, you know, knows enough about what you have. You know, it's so rare. Hmm. One, but even now, they say one in there's about sixty-six um, um, thousand people in the United States that have it. So pretty rare. And I just, if I bump myself, you know, hold on a second. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. You know, but I get them. If I can get them all over. Here's my arms. Hmm. Yeah. But then, you know, so that they, I went for four years. I went to a guy, a hematologist, that, you know, wanted to have my blood tested every week. Yeah. I mean, you go to the doctor's office and have you, you know, your blood pull, have a needle stuck in your arm every week for four years. Hmm. You know, it gets the right? It's like the dripping water is working on your head. Yeah, it just slowly catches up to you. point which was the first day of football I remember watching Thursday night football and you get me a number the card to a hospital and all of a sudden I'm calling the hospital and we're talking and I said, you know, just don't call me Monday, or Sunday or Monday. It was a football. She says, you know, football's on right now. And I remember turning the game on, but I don't remember calling her, saying that, it, you know, I need help or I'm going to kill myself. Hmm. You know. But mine, because it's being sick, you know, it's a different, I don't know. It's, it's, I'll be sick for the rest of my life, and it just, it just, I'm worn out. Yeah. Just, I'm, I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired. Yeah. Have you ever heard that statement? You know? You know, I just can't, I can't, I'll fight for yourself. I, I just, I can't take the pill. I, I take, I take, uh, oh, here's my, my pill bottle. Yeah. Uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Twelve. Yeah. Twelve. Wow. Three, six, 
Hmm. Like I said, I'm going through a class called DBT, and it's called grounding, you know. You just got to remember, it's just today. Just be grounded. Just be in the moment. Be in the moment, yes. Um. You know, don't worry about tomorrow. Can't do anything about yesterday. You just, you know, today, be right now. Yeah. 